Hi guys, Laudafian here and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how do I use my free-to-play account just to finish the Spiral Abyss. First of all, before you watch video, make sure to leave a like and share it down below because I'm gonna give you an insight about how to make your own strategies on dealing with the Spiral Abyss, especially on this floor, 6th floor. So, let's go. We're gonna need to see about the monsters in the in these chambers in the chamber one uh, in which we can see that most of the monsters are using cryo and this electro helicopter shooter and the helicopter fighter won't do any anything much because you won't need to break their shields or do anything to do with that so we're gonna need at least one pyro here and then in the second half we're mostly dealing with pyro so we're gonna need a hydro i'm gonna recommend barbara or if you have mono or something actually and in the chamber two we can see that there is a Cyro Abyss Mage, Abyss Mage, so you really need a Pyro user for this, and I'm gonna use Amber for this. And for the Rock Shield Wall Mitsuk Shuru, that's you need a something like Claymore. So having the look, uh, Noel or something that you actually any Claymore user might work. And the Pyro Helicopter Shooter, Hydro Hil Hydro Samatur, Cryo Helicopter Shooter, they don't do much. And on the Chamber Tree, there is the Stone Hide Lava Churl, and you need a Claymore to destroy his shields. So in this case, I'm going to use Noel for this. And in the Pyro Abyss Mage, you can use Hydro users. I'm going to use Barbara. You can use Childe or any any other Pyro users except for Sinchu because you need to, you need to utilize his ultimate and i don't really recommend having Xingqiu for breaking this pyrabis mage shield he still works for the weapons and active facts for amber i'm going to use a prototype crescent not refine it any in any means i'm not going to refine this because i might use i might use the compound bow for next videos or anything because free to play and for the artifacts i'm now using a berserker set actually i don't really recommend this settings i don't have the wanderer's troop yet but i really recommend you to have a full set of wanderer's troop because it will enhance her charge attack remember that amber has a passive called precise shot aim shot hits on weak points increase attack by 15 percent for 10 seconds and the weapon itself charge attack hits on weak points increase movement speed by 10 percent and attack for by 36 percent for 10 seconds it can be enhanced by refinement but it's gonna be hard since we don't really get much of the prototype anyway for kaya i am going to use prototype rancor and the artifacts i really don't recommend gladius finale but if you can have something like a blizzard strayer that would be really good for shangling the best artifact set for her will be something like crimson witch but now i'm not having it so i'm just gonna use whatever i have and for noel the obvious weapon you're gonna use is white blind and for the artifacts you're gonna run retracing bullet or berserker and gladiator's piece works good too and that's the only thing i have so I'm just gonna use this one for a moment. For Barbara, it's a little bit important, I guess, because he's a Hydro character and she deals a lot of damage by just Viperize herself. So, you wanna use a full set of Wanderers too for a DPS Barbara, and the weapon for her is absolutely Mapamere for the Elemental Mastery and the triggering an Elemental Reaction grants a 8% Elemental Damage bonus for 10 seconds. For the Traveler, I use Geo Traveler, but you can use animal traveler if you like to but i utilize him more for the constellation one thing which is which you can get for free invisible stone wall the wake of earth have their crit in rate increased by 10 percent and have increased resistance against interruptions and for the artifact i haven't enhanced any of them yet but i'm running the exile piece for exile piece and the instructor set elemental mastery so that you can have a lot a better shield a little bit better shield and the exile set for the energy recharge so that his wake of earth can recharge faster that's all and you don't really have to care much about lisa i haven't built her much and i just use the trailing tales of dragon slayers to enhance barbara's hit so that's all let's get into the viral abyss in this part i'm gonna use the, the additional of 30 percent attack when hp is greater than 50 percent because we're gonna deal physical damage and elemental damage so it's not just physical damage so that everyone can utilize this effect properly you will want to kill these archers as fast as possible because they're gonna hit you and they're gonna make you a little bit stunned or paralyzed or flinch or whatever you whatever you call it and also notice that when the whopper flower absorbs the orb from its body to its head that's the time when it's gonna use the charge attack you can use pyro attacks to cancel that and it will get stunned so that's a good idea to use amber or any pyro characters that can deal the consistent pyro damage without any cooldown Let's 
くまんすねおとなしくしやがれ<笑>ちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいちょっと待ってくださいこれはどうだ、ね、こいつはどうだ、ね、こいつはどうだ Also, don't forget that you can get some shield by the crystallization. With the same pattern as before, if the Whopper Flower swallows the orb from the body to its head, then it's starting to starting to charge its charge attack. So you can give him the hydro attacks or anything that can cancel its animation and you're good to go. Also notice that since I'm going to use Barbarous Charge Attack to deal most damage, you'll want to keep those Pyro effects on the enemies and keep an eye on your stamina gauge so that you can deal Vaporize damage when you use your Barbarous Charge Attack.
For this part, the best buff that you can choose or at least I choose is the 25% buff on physical damage. Who needs HP restore and physical damage assistance when you have Noel on your team, Barbara and Geo Traveler anyway? Oh my god. こいつはどう Do you mind that breaking the wooden shield with no L won't be as effective as igniting them up? Therefore, you'll want to ignite those wooden shields as early as possible. Take care of these Hydro amateurs first after they spawn or else they will heal the enemies. Also, it's better to take down the Abyss Mage at once after you break their shields while they are stunned, since their attacks while resummoning the shield will be very annoying to dodge and will, of course, throw your character. So, keep that in mind. Here you can use Noel's normal attack to destroy the Geo shields. Here at the beginning of the second part, you can use Barbar's charge attack to, ca to take care of the slimes quickly. A 
After that, prioritize on killing these animal amateurs first so that we don't have to allocate our stamina to splinting here and there, here and there, here and there again. The reason why I choose crit rate and crit damage is similar as before because we want to maximize our damage output as high as possible. Remember to use Claymore to destroy the big Lawature's shield. It doesn't have to be Noel, but Noel does great at this in particular. Since melt reaction enhances more than twice the damage, when Kaya is using his elemental burst is when you can use it to create melt reaction triggered by Amber's charge shots. And remember to always aim the head.
Let's go! If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, share this video with your friends, and comment down below if you have some requests for me to make. Hope you all have a good day. It's Loud Avian, and I'll see you in this video. Peace!